tutorial. This is partner dancing that we're teaching you. This is part five. Yes, that we're doing, done a crazy. few. We're starting to get a little more advanced, but today we've got some old school country swing. Yes. There's kind of like newer styles that are becoming more West Coast, but we're going to go old school and teach you the pretzel as well as another one that I don't know the name <laughs> of, but it's kind of fun <laughs> in a similar good. style. Yeah, you'll love but it. before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can see more tutorials like this. Let's go. All right, let's start off with the pretzel, which is like the classic old school country dance move that everyone thinks is fun because it's kind of complicated, but it's really not that bad. So here we go. Where we normally start, guys, palms are up. What we're going to do is your hands are going to rotate in each other's for this whole move, but they're never going to completely let go. So don't let go because if you let go, you'll get lost and you'll have to rewind back to the beginning to figure out where you're at. So. Yeah, face that direction like always. Stand on the same side. That'll make your life a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our left hand, guys, hold it up above here, and we're going to go under that arm. And when we do that, this right hand is going to turn behind our back. So we go underneath the arm, and our right hand turns behind our back to here. Okay? It is your movie. <laughs> yeah. Move. Let's do that way just a little bit. So we should be here. Our right hand should be behind our back. Our left hand should be in front of the lady. Don't hold it up over her head back here, right? Sometimes get people will get here. Pick that arm up and put it in front of her so that we're like this, okay? Maybe they're facing the back by that point. So you're stepping with them. Let's start from the top again. You guys, hands are here. Left hand up high. We step under that and turn our right hand behind our back. To here. Okay, now from here, we are going to step with our left hand up over here and we're going to trade places. So this left hand comes up, we go behind each other, right hand up, over the head, to here. Okay, so we just switched places. Now the guy's right hand is going to come across his face like this. So that you can see like this little window, right? You can see your partner and you're actually going to pull the lady behind you and go through that little window. So we're here to here, okay? Can we reverse that a little bit? So we were here, right? We're bringing our right hand across our face here and we're going to go through that little window and pull the lady behind us, which will open us up to here. Now once again, we've been here before, guys' hands are on top, the ladies' hands are on bottom, that's wrong, we need to correct that. So usually we will just turn our partner with our left hand across her face, and this is the only time this hand lets go during this move. It's the left We're hand. going to turn across the face and catch that right hand to end the move, okay? Yeah. So let's so do that from the top one more time. So left hand up, we go under that arm, and our right hand turns behind our back. Our left hand is now should be in front of the lady. We pick that left hand up above her head, we trade places with her, right hand comes over her head, left arm is now behind the back. Now this right arm comes across here where we can see through the window, and we're gonna go through that window, and the lady comes behind us, and then we're going to open up to here, and then we're going to take our left hand, turn across the face, and re-catch with the right hand. And that is the whole move. Yeah. Let's do it. Do that over and over and over. Let's do it really, really fast now. So left hand up underneath. Switch places. Right arm, left arm there. Okay? Remember that last turn is the only time that we let go, and it's we're letting go with that right hand. Now, one of my favorite things to do, if you know this move and can do it really well, is that you can trick a partner that you've never danced with in convincing them that you're doing it backwards, which I think is super, super fun. All you have to do is say that you're doing it backwards and then repeat the move a second time. And in their mind, they're like, this has to be backwards, even though it's not. So I'll demonstrate what I mean by that. So we start at the beginning, just like we're doing the move. And at the end, we switch with our partner, we come to here, and instead of turning her, you just bring them into a cradle, right? Cuddle. Or a cuddle. Did I say cradle? Yeah. Into a cuddle. 
So in, instead of letting go of this right hand, so we're in this cuddle, right? Now what you do is right here, now you have a chance to talk to them, you say, now backwards, and you turn them out, and as you turn them out, your left hand's up, right? Which is where we started this move in the first place. And you're gonna go under that left hand, exactly like you did. Repeat the move. Under the left hand, switch places with your partner, under your right hand, and turn her out, right? It's the exact same move in the exact same way you've just done it, but if you claim that you're going backwards in the middle of it, it messes with their minds and they think that they're actually going backwards, and they'll be really impressed that you do the move backwards and forwards, even though you did I think it's really fun. All right, move number two, I do not have a name for it. I don't even know where I learned it. I learned it a long, long time ago when I was learning old country, uh, old style kind of country swing stuff, but I think it's kind of a fun little move uh, to do. So. We're going to uh, start you on this side, actually, and we are going to turn our partner into a cuddle, not a cradle, um, to here, right? Into the cuddle. So, if you haven't done the cuddle before, we've done it in other videos, but if you haven't watched them, we're taking our left hand across our partner's face, don't let go of either hand, to here, right? So that our arms are like this. Left hand should be over the top, right hand underneath over here, okay? And then you can cuddle with too. <laughs> uh, so from here, what we're going to do, left hand's going to come up, and you're going to spin your partner out, like this, and then you're going to turn their arm behind their back and spin them kind of one more time to here, to where you can look at your partner. Now you're going to reverse that and do that on the other side. So your left hand comes up over their head, Switching places here, right arm up now, left arm comes behind their back to here. And you can do that as many times as you would like. Sometimes I do three, but sometimes that feels like a lot too. You don't have to do that many. So where right hand comes up, we, we switch to the other side again. We spin her this way, right? And then our left hand comes up and the right hand comes behind her back and she spins and faces here. Now to exit the move, I usually will exit from this side where we're at, and we'll take our left hand up, and I just spin the partner out, almost like we're going to that other side again. But instead, we spin once, and then on the second one, I usually put my hand on their upper back, left hand guides it up to the neck, and then I dip my partner, which is what we've done in a lot of other moves before. So let's do all of that again. I know that was a lot from the top. All right, left hand across your partner's face, into the cuddle, left hand up, spin your partner out once, kind of twice to here, right hand is now behind your back, now you're gonna switch places, left hand up, spin right hand up, left hand behind the back, here. Then our right hand comes up, left hand comes up, right hand comes behind the back, and you look at our partner, from here, we're going to spin out twice and dip. So left hand up once. On the second one, the right hand comes on the upper back. Left hand puts her arm around your neck, and then you dip your partner safely with both hands if you need to. If it's easier for the guys, we are going to turn and face the other direction. That way you're facing the same direction as me during the move. And hopefully that might make this move a little bit easier. So you got your partner, how do we start? Right here, right? So you take your left hand across her face and face now the back of the room. I guess you're facing the, the TV. So we're here, left hand comes up. You spin your partner out, right hand behind her back to here. Then left hand up, right hand up. Left hand comes behind her back. One more time, right hand up, left hand up, behind her back. Now we're gonna spin her out twice and dip. So left hand comes up once on the second time, right hand goes on her back twice and dip. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that was a little helpful but now that we're facing the same direction. All right, we have one more bonus move that we didn't mention we were gonna do in the beginning. We think this will be really beneficial to people. We Just have done time. this move, yeah, in general. We've done this move several times throughout the basics even though we haven't really mentioned it, it's not really a move. It's just a collection at, that happens Step. oftentimes after the move. Yeah. So what happens is a lot of times on a move, let's go with like a basic turn, for example. I'm gonna start shaking on this side. So a basic turn, if I turn her, right, you can collect the hand with your right hand 
and just go back into the basics. But sometimes the way you're moving or the, when, or the music or how it happens, we open up to like kind of here where we've like stepped back and I don't really have this hand. And it's kind of awkward to like collect that, especially because like if I'm twisted, you know, and not facing the right way. So a lot of times what we will do is when we turn and have that open position, I'm gonna use it in this example. We turn here, right? And we're in this open position. What we'll do is we'll both kind of step back and just kind of lean on each other a little bit. And we're going to collect by just giving a stop sign with our right hand. And guys will put up a stop sign. Ladies will see the stop sign and put up their left hand as if you're like going to give each other a high five. You kind of step together and do this little circle down to the bottom. And then you can go back into the basic or another move. Let's do that again from the top. So. We're here, we turn our partner or whatever move, we're just finishing, we kind of step back, stop sign, pull together, and then back into basic or some other move. For example, in context of the moves we just taught you, the pretzel, I often end with that stop sign collect move, if you want to call it that. So, we're here, right, and we do the pretzel, and as I spin her out here, now we just stop. See how we're in this open position where we're kind of turning this way? It would be awkward because she's spinning this way to now like pull her and spin her or something. So it's kind of awkward there. So we just kind of lean back, pull ourselves together with the stop sign collect, and then we can kind of go back to the basics. So let's do that again without a pause. So we're doing the pretzel, spin her out, and we're back into dancing something else. Does that make sense? You guys, you just learned two moves, old school country moves, and a bonus little extra help tip, which was kind of nice. Right, so I love those moves. They're really fun, especially when you do the pretzel backwards. Really fun little trick. Try it on someone. It's this mind trick that I think is super, super fun. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like it, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions or if you or need more detailed if you have explanations. If you want us to teach in the future, we'd love to know what you guys are looking for. And always don't forget, keep, keep dancing. dancing.